Hello, my dear students. Now we shall learn about the next experiment that is SR flip flop using NAND gate that is 7400. This pin configuration you know, and then we shall learn now how we can implement the NAND gate into clocked SR flip flop. So how many gates we are using? Four gates we are using. It is a clocked flip flop. Under the control of clock only, we can expect the output is going to change. When you are not applying clock pulse, nothing going to be changed. That we can observe now. And this is a logic table. It is a voltage response table. It is. And remember, when clock pulse is applied, by that time only we can expect the changes. And that changes can be noted down by the way. One means logical high it is, and zero means zero only. That is a logical states it is. Okay, let me start an experiment by using trainer kit. In the trainer kit, we have to first do the biasing. That is pin number seven and pin number fourteen are connected to plus and minus. Okay, now we shall connect as per the circuit diagram. In the circuit diagram, we can see that pin number one is the input. Yes, see you know pin number one is connected to the input terminal, and then pin number two will be connected to where it is. You know pin number two. and pin number we can see here pin number 4 shorted first and that has to go that has to go to the clock pulse clock pulse means we let we take either from pin number 2 uh, or from pin number 4 which has to connect to the mono pulse mono pulse will be here you can connect here or we can take uh, one of the terminal as input only if the clock pulse is low it is low this is this is high this is low okay fine then we have connected the clock pulse also this is a clock pulse pin number 2 uh, and 4 is shorted either from 2 or from 4 we have connected a wire and that is called clock i have taken this will be considered as a clock or i can consider mono pulse also it is up to us okay fine now uh, we have to come next part of the circuit and then pin number 1 uh, is a input no yes it is i have connected yes here and pin number 5 will be r it is pin number 5 connect from pin number 5 and uh, this has to go to the uh, next input it is it is this one is r and this one is yes okay now we have done circuit up to this part you can observe one is connected to input yes we have connected here and uh, uh, 5 is connected to input that also we have connected here and 2 uh, and 4 has to be shorted which is going to clock you can see this is a 2 and 4 which is going to be a clock either from 2 or from 4 we can connect to a clock i have taken this is a clock okay this will be considered as a clock yes we can take like this it is a clock last one these two are the inputs r s and r okay now come to the next part of circuit okay next part see from 3 to 12 6 to 10 that's what we need to connect from 3 pin number 3 to 12 12 means what it is 14 13 12 this is 3 to 12 and then next is what pin number 6 pin number 6 to where it is supposed to connect it is connected to 10 so 8 9 10 okay we have connected these two wires we have connected and we have to do criss cross arrangement criss cross means how it is 13 to 8 and 9 to 11 means yes 13 to 8 first of all 13 is here 13 is here it has to go to the 8 8 is here 8 13 to 8 and then we have to go for 9 from 9 to 11 11 means what it is 9 10 11 11 is here only yes this has to go to the another criss cross it's a latch arrangement you know we have connected finally what do we take 11 is the output yes 11 you can see here 8 9 10 11 11 we have to connect Okay, eleven is the output which has to go for Q. You can consider any one is Q and Q bar. It is of your wish. You can connect anywhere. Okay. The next wire, what you have to take? See, um, you have to take eight. From eight, it should go to the eight. It should go to uh, Q bar. That is, Q bar will be here. Okay. That's the reason usually we take first uh, uh, Q and second is Q bar. Okay. It is not compulsory. There is no compulsion like that. You can. Okay. Fine. Everything is connection complete. I repeat. Two to four shorted, which has gone to clock. 
1 and 5 are the inputs I have connected here and then uh, you know 3 to 12 and 6 to 10 I have connected. Finally, I have taken 11 and 8 are the output terminals and also I have done criss cross arrangement from 13 to 8 and 11 to 9 ok that is what we have done. Now, let me on it ok. Now, when I switch it on a valid state has to come that valid state can be anything may be 1 0 or 0 1 a valid state has to come that is the first thing. <coughs> Next without giving clock pulse whatever you do changes output will never change I told you know without clock pulse you can change anything it will not work. So, after giving clock pulse only where is clock pulse clock pulse is here ok here I have taken high and low we can take ok after giving this we can expect a changes ok fine very first trial let me come to this trial first trial clock pulse is applied both are 0 0 hold state you know hold means what exactly any one valid state will be there ok then clock pulse is applied 5 and 0 5 and 0 means it is you can see here 1 0 yes it is 1 this is 0 what has to come 1 0 has to come ok then after applying clock pulse 1 0 is supposed to come so after applying the clock pulse for uh, ok i'm sorry 1 0 I am supposed to apply I can see that 1 0 and uh, if I do uh, 0 1 after the applying clock pulse you can see it will change now see 0 1 I repeat if it is 1 0 output is 1 0 clock pulse is up clock pulse is not applied means you can change whatever it is it will not work I told you when clock pulse is applied by the way now what is there 0 1 is there what is the here it is it is after application of clock pulse it will exactly become 0 1 0 1. See now 1 0 after the application of clock pulse only it will change into 1 0 ok that is what see 0 1 state is said to be reset state you can see if it is 0 and 1 it is reset if it is 1 and 0 it is said to be set state reset and set state when both are 1 1 we have a question mark here nothing but that what will come here means both will come high that is called invalid state you can see here both are connected uh, high now I need to apply clock pulse now both will become 1 1 1 1 means it is not at all a valid state because the principle of flip flop what it will say the output state has to be complementary each other then output state is complementary each other it is it is invalidating no so, henceforth we have to uh, we can use up to only three things that is a hold state, reset state, set state, but last is when inputs are 1 and 1 definitely it is an invalid state that is what we can. Clock pulse is not applied definitely nothing will be changed ok and I will tell you about the hold what is the meaning of hold means previous state is retained for example ok I do 0 and 1 I apply a clock pulse what is the output 0 1. See, even if I bring back to the bring back then the previous state is retained. So, if I bring back 0 0 then it is said to be what it is uh, same state will be retained for example let me do for 1 0 what is the output has to come output has to come 1 0 is it clear. So, if I do 0 0 see it will not change that is the meaning of hold state means previous state is retained that is the meaning of uh, hold or previous state what we can in the table, but finally what we need to do. So, when both inputs are 1 1 and clock pulse is enabled output is high output is high we have to write what is the corresponding voltage here high voltage high means normally what we have got uh, maybe it is 4.5 or 3.2 like that we are getting ok. So, if it is high so it will be same ok. So, if it is clock pulse is 0 immediately hold state will come hold state means what it is previous state will be coming ok for this state. So, let me let me measure and we shall come to the point ok uh, ok. Now, clock pulse is uh, see 0 I will be making clock pulse is 0 what state has come the last state well, last state means what it is 0 and 1 means this becomes 0 and this becomes 1 4.5 volts I have to measure by using multimeter anyway that you know how to do measurement I taught you in the previous link previous previous sessions or oh, here we have to note down ok and in the same way hold state means while well, it has come no ok I will make it is once again off see ok now I will make it on 
see a state has come 1 0 has come so 1 0 i need to write here 1 0 1 means for example it may come around 4.5 let me write the same thing 4.5 and 0 and next what will we do 1 and 0 what will be there 0 and 1 what will be there 0 and 1 0 and 1 i will be doing okay and after applying clock pulse it will convert into 0 and 1 see i'll be writing for 0 1 it is coming 0 1 only 0 and 4.5 for example 4.5 may come or 3.4 may come whatever it will differ uh, each person each trainer kit so we have to uh, we have to write nearest value for the same and then if i make for example so you know if i make okay if i make 10 if i make 